Hello, I'm Gary Teeson. I'm the County Archivist at the Norfolk Record Office. The Norfolk Record Office is one of just many archive services covering the whole of the country. Most archives will have a reading room or a search room for members of the public to go to look at documents. Anyone aged 14 or over can apply for an archives card. They're free of charge and you can get one by registering on the website at archivescard.com. Once you have registered, you need to visit one of the participating archives with two forms of identity. A member of staff will then issue your card. The archives card will give you access to many archives across the UK. To help us preserve the documents, you will only be allowed to take certain items into the search room. These often include items such as pencils, not pens, note paper and laptops. We ask you to leave bags in the lockers provided. This is the Norfolk Record Office search room. In the search room, people can access literally millions of documents. Documents come in several different formats and materials. They may be parchment, which is animal skin, or paper. They may be large rolled maps, books or bundles of documents tied together. Or they might be digital, like sound files and photographs. We also share the building with East Anglian Film Archive, which enables our users to access a wide range of material all within the same building. To help us keep documents in good condition, we may ask you to use weights and book cushions and ask you to take care when handling the documents, for example, not licking your fingers when turning the page. Staff are always on hand to help. We're now in one of our strong rooms. This is an environmentally controlled room which has stable temperature and humidity. This helps ensure that our documents last as long as possible. Documents are stored in the strong rooms. The strong rooms meet a European standard which is known as EN 16893. This regulates the security and environment in the storage area. Strong rooms are kept at a temperature between 13 and 18 degrees Celsius and with humidity between 45 and 60 percent. At the Norfolk Record Office, we stabilise our conditions within these ranges but allow some seasonal drift to reduce our carbon footprint. Rapid changes in temperature or humidity are particularly bad for documents and reduce the chances of them surviving to benefit future generations. We also need to think about what happens if a fire breaks out. We have a gas system. In the event of a fire, it pumps argonite into the strong room, which lowers the oxygen level, stopping the fire. The documents are stored in acid-free materials. Where fastenings are required, we use brass because it doesn't rust and won't harm the documents. Historical documents come in all shapes and sizes and we don't want documents moving about in the boxes, so we match the document to the box. And if we can't get a good match, here at the Norfolk Record Office, we have a box-making machine, so we can make boxes that fit exactly. It's not unusual for documents in an archive to be stored on mobile shelves. These maximise the space we have in the strong rooms. Some archives have special strong rooms used for storing items with special preservation needs. For example, here at the Norfolk Record Office, our tape store houses cassettes, reel-to-reel, -reel, mini discs, and other audio storage in a separate room with lower humidity than the rest of the strong rooms. Hi, my name's Nick and I'm a conservator here at the Norfolk Record Office. Welcome to the conservation studio. There are three of us who usually work in here, 
It's quite a large room. We've got about 150 square meters of space and we do two basic roles. The first is preservation and the second is conservation. Preservation is about making sure that we're keeping the documents that we've got in good conditions. So in our strong rooms, we make sure that the environmental conditions are constant. So the temperature and humidity don't fluctuate too much. We make sure that things are correctly packaged, usually in acid free material so that the packaging doesn't damage the objects. The third thing we do in preservation is to educate people into how to handle documents carefully and correctly. With conservation, what we're doing is repairing documents that are already damaged. We use some of the kit that we've got in this room to do that. This is our humidification chamber. There's a box underneath which produces the cold mist which fills the dome. Into that we put pieces of parchment that we want to flatten. Basically what happens is the, the humidity, the moisture, goes into the parchment and softens it up which then allows us to put it onto this suction table to flatten it out. Archives are a wonderful resource which anyone can access free of charge. Don't worry if you've never visited before. Our friendly staff will point you in the right direction. All you need is a question about the past and we can help you find the answer. An introduction to the handwriting of Tudor to Hanoverian Norfolk. This course will enable students to read and understand original Norfolk documentary sources. It will familiarise you with the different types of handwriting in use in England from the late 16th to the early 18th centuries and enable you to recognise key elements of the document types used. The Norfolk Record Office collects and preserves records of historical significance for the County of Norfolk, its institutions, its communities and individuals, and makes them accessible to as wide a range of people as possible. Our collections include records from local government, landed estates, churches, societies, businesses and ordinary people of all kinds and range from medieval account rolls to born digital records. They come in formats as varied as parchment rolls, volumes, papers, linen-backed maps, architectural plans and electronic media. Session 1. An introduction to the course resources, scripts, alphabets and bibliography. Session 2. Abbreviation Conventions and Signs Historical documents are often abbreviated to a greater or lesser extent, and this session will help you recognise the many peculiar abbreviation methods and special signs employed. Session 3 Examining Secretary Hand In this session, we will be comparing and contrasting classic forms of secretary hand with later mixed secretary and italic hands. Session 4. Introducing court hands. We will be examining diagnostic letter forms and contrasting them with their secretary and italic counterparts. Session 5. Roman numerals and their use in records. Session 6 Late Chancery and Engrossing Hands 
This session looks at the handwriting of public records used in the 18th and 19th centuries. During these sessions, together we will use the archive to examine in detail the texts of original Norfolk records, enabling you to acquire the skills and knowledge to discover more and supporting you with additional information and resources throughout the course. Title Deeds, an introduction to their form, purpose and interpretation. In this course, we should be identifying and describing a selection of historical title deeds commonly found in the Norfolk Record Office. The Norfolk Record Office collects and preserves records of historical significance for the County of Norfolk, its institutions, its communities and individuals and makes them accessible to as wide a range of people as possible. Our collections include records from local government, landed estates, churches, societies, businesses, and ordinary people of all kinds, and range from medieval account rolls to born digital records. They come in formats as varied as parchment rolls, volumes, papers, linen-backed maps, architectural plans and electronic media. Session 1. What are deeds? Deeds are legal documents recording transactions relating to the proof, defence and disclaiming of title. We will be looking at their purpose, content and format and assessing their significance as historical records. Session 2. Freehold Conveyances We will look in detail at bargains and sales, leases and releases, and post-1845 conveyances. Session 3. Copyhold Tenure We will examine what manners were and look in detail at copies of court roll and deeds of enfranchisement. Session 4. Leasehold Tenure We'll examine in detail various types of lease and counterpart lease. Session 5. Mortgages We'll examine what is a mortgage and look at mortgages of both freehold and copyhold properties. Session 6. Fictitious Lawsuits and Settlements In this session, we will be looking at final concords, common recoveries and settlements. During these sessions, together we will use the archive to examine in detail the texts of original Norfolk records enabling you to acquire the skills and knowledge to discover more and supporting you with additional information and resources throughout the course. Hi, I'm Henry and I make the boxes to store the archives. We are going to make this from this.
The machine cuts out the shape of the box and makes the creases where it will fold. Once the machine has finished, this is my job to fold the boxes by hand. This is the box that we've just made. And now it's your turn.